Uh, the vehicle, once it's picked up, will be depolluted and then shredded. It'll be torn apart in pieces, so there'll be no nothing left of it. Okay. So you're gonna have to drain it of all the petrol. All the fluids, all the fluids have to be drained. Tires off of it, battery off of it. Anything, anything that that uh, is a basically a, a waste product. And that that takes about an hour. About an hour, yeah. Do you do you uh, do this kind of thing a lot? Do you get many fly? All, what fly tipping vehicles? Yeah. Um, only when we get brought in by the council or by the police, but mainly it's just normal public people's cars. Hi, uh, my name's Phil White. I'm an environmental crime officer for Watford Borough Council. Uh, the vehicle you just watched uh, being crushed uh, was owned by a convicted fly tipper who was convicted at St Norman's Crown Court for nine offences of fly tipping. Uh, the vehicle in question was see actually seized at the scene of a fly tip and we kept it in custody until the court here and where we applied uh, for a forfeiture order from the court so we could then uh, dispose of the vehicle. The reason, um, the, obviously, the judge uh, allowed the forfeiture and, uh, and the reason we want to crush it is because we want to take it out of its criminal activity because these types of vehicles are regularly used by fly tippers. Um, even if we were to, uh, to sell it, it would cost a lot of money to uh, make it roadworthy again. So we believe it's, uh, it's easier to crush the vehicle, take it out of its criminal use, because uh, if we were to resell it, it's sold on the open market and these uh, type of vehicles are favoured by fly tippers. And also it sends out a powerful message to fly tippers who use this sort of vehicle.